Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video and hope you guys are doing well today. In this video, we'll be looking at Feral Druid in Gaiaclism and why you should Feral Druid in Kata is, in my opinion, the perfect iteration of a hybrid spec. Whilst it is playable as both Bear and Cat individually, I believe Feral Druid becomes one of its own when it's played as a hybrid between the two. Being able to off tank and still able to do 90 to 95% of the DPS of a Soul Kitty player, it really does do it all. Feral brings some fantastic utility to a raid such as Mark of the Wild, being one of the most important buffs in the game, and is typically only also brought by a Paladin that has Blessing and Might to buff also. Leader of the pack is shared between Wolves and Dino pets by Hunters. Sub rows of which we're likely to see early expansion, same with Fury Warriors and then Elemental Shamans. Now, whilst I believe that every group should have an Elemental Shaman, it's not always the case. Instantly applied three stacks of Fairy Fire will be a fan favourite. No more Sundering for Warriors, and it's literally applied the first global. It also brings Mangle, maintaining the bleed buff. Kitty itself brings mid to high single target DPS if played well, and Bear is one of the stronger tanks due to the 4.3.4 scaling. Played as a pure Bear or hybrid, they hold one of, if not the strongest, off tank in Kata. The real selling points of Feral, in my opinion, is their ability to cover three key roles in a raid with only two specs. Bear, Cat, Hybrid, and the second spec, Resta or Boomy. After playing with a good hybrid Feral recently, I've seen the strength of having a tank that can still push the limits of DPS whilst fulfilling the minimum tank responsibilities. All Feral was sitting middle of the DPS meter while still being the tank when needed. All of this aside, and all their playstyles still have an underlying bonus that made them even more fun to play. Kitty Berserk feels genuinely powerful to play with, and their opening DPS is nothing to sniff at. Savage Roar being changed from an overall damage increase to an auto attack buff means that it drops in priority, and whilst it's still good to have up, it stops becoming like negative massively to your DPS if it drops even for a couple of seconds. Cat having an execute phase is also insane. At 25% Ferocious Bite will maintain your rip, meaning you'll be able to keep biting for the rest of the fight comfortably. Tier 13 4 set changes this to a massive 65%, keeping your highest damage per execution time ability up comfortably as long as you're hitting the boss. I don't think that Bear doesn't have its advantages either. On three targets, Bear has some of the highest damage in the game during Berserk. That's not just tanks, that's everything. Things like Shanox can be absolutely insane. Bear is also relatively simple to play and does exceptionally well in most scenarios. In a physical fight, the bear mastery absorbs an absurd amount of damage and then having a decent amount of dodge. Whilst in magic fights, due to bears inherit high health, they can typically withstand a bit of a beating. Oh, and all of this aside, most ferals, especially in Wrath, know the feeling of maintaining two sets of gear for cat, bear, or hybrid. This is still totally plausible, but you can get away with going agi or agi mastery stacking and be completely viable for both specs. Feral is definitely a great class for the person who wants to do it all in Kata. Let me know what you guys think of Feral, if you plan on playing it at all, if you plan on playing it as either cat or bear or as hybrid. Thanks for watching guys and catch you later.